Creamer Media's Mining Weekly Online is speaking to Davis Siddique, the project executive of Platinum Valley Special Economic Zone, which is being promoted by the Northwest Development Corporation. Davis, can you tell us what is the Platinum Valley and what are its objectives? Okay. Uh, Martin, with uh, uh, Platinum Valley Special Economic Zone, we want to create a new platform to attract uh, investment in the platinum beneficiation space. We want to talk to companies that uh, would want to manufacture all the components that uh, are, are, are driven by platinum, and as well as uh, companies that want to produce uh, mining uh, capital equipment for the mines, uh, to take advantage of the, all the, the mines that we have within Rustenburg area. And why is it being located in the Rustenburg uh, area? Uh, we ha we are s situated within the heart of uh, the Western Bushveld uh, mining uh, mining area, whereby we have close to 30 mines that are located within the radius of the the SZ. Yes. And what would be your dream outcome for the Platinum Valley? Okay. I think we what we we want is to industrialize Rustenburg, taking advantage of the mines that we have uh, within the area, so that in future we'll identify new skills that uh, must be developed, as well as uh, to 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 procure goods and services that uh, goes into the mine within the Rustenburg area. So we want to talk to the companies that are currently supplying. Uh, goods and services and equipment to the mines uh, to locate within the SZ from all over the world, whether it's from Europe, Sweden, whether it's from Italy, all the manufacturing places internationally to come and locate within the, the zone uh, in Rustenburg. Yes. Why would an industrialist want to invest in a rural area when they could do that manufacturing wherever they want to. What incentives are you going to give people to come into the Platinum Valley? Okay, we are offering uh, standard SEZ uh, uh, incentives, including reduced tax rate, uh, including uh, allowances for uh, to import equipment. Uh, we have allowances to recruit local labor. And we also provide... Uh, um, the, the building facilities, uh, uh, the, we work with the DTI for us to be able to build uh, the right infrastructure for all the investors that uh, come. And obviously some of the incentives will be informed by the interest of these companies when they come so that we can then engage to say what is it that will make you move and come to our location and then the detail will be able to consider some of those so that uh, we ultimately are offering a competitive incentive for those investors. Yes. And could one of the investors come in there and build a fuel cell or parts for the fuel cell? Uh, at the moment, yes, we, we are ready. Uh, we, we want to uh, to 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 uh, to be able to offer uh, the the facilities for the the whole value chain in terms of the different uh, um, um, components of the the fuel cell, whether it's the whole stack or whether it's the membrane within the the, the whole stack, uh, and uh, we're working with the University of Northwest for for them to be able to. Uh, provide the, 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 the research skills that uh, they have built up over time as part and parcel of HISA uh, program, yes. And will you have access to those academics? And what about TVET colleges? Can they be incorporated into this idea? Okay. At the moment, the, the, the university is providing uh, the, the, all the, uh, the, the knowledge uh, knowledge uh, um, um, at the higher level, while we positioning our local TVET colleges, including Mankwe or Bit Campus, to provide the the support skills, whether it is for the artisan area, uh, whether it's with regard to uh, boiler makers and so on and so forth. So we have a, a complementary situation whereby the university is providing. Um, 
capacity at a higher level while the Tibet colleges uh, uh, is support uh, is providing us with the the, the supportive uh, capacity for, to make the whole uh, SCZ viable from an SMME and skills development base yes Will you also be flexible and say, I came along, I wanted to build electrolyzers for uh, hydrogen uh, generation, taking it from electricity from the sun and uh, then producing the hydrogen, which, uh, you know, the electrolyzers also use platinum. Would you, be, would you accommodate that? We are very open uh, to, to all the different sectors of this uh, um, sec uh, for, 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 for this uh, uh, mining mineral beneficiation. And uh, we, we are now currently working with the University of Northwest to build uh, facilities for 3D printing and the, the, the laboratory and all the, f uh, the facilities that will su support research and innovation within the uh, platinum beneficiation space, yes. And say one of those elements in the membrane stack which has a, a film of platinum, could you use the 3D technology to apply that? Um, at the moment, uh, the the initiative is still at uh, uh, in, uh, foundation phase. Uh, we hope that in future all the, the, the that should be possible uh, within the, the the space, so that ultimately we we provide a one location for all initiatives that will go uh, in the whole beneficiation of the the metal that. Uh, we are having uh, within this area, yes. And when do you expect to sign up your first participant in the Platinum Valley? Um, the, 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 the initiative of 3D Plenty will be the first uh, uh, project that we'll finalize. We're working with the, the Department of Science and Technology for them to provide us with the, f um, the, the the financial resources for us to upgrade the current facilities that we have so that um, we will start with that and then we'll position the zone around that initiative so that we can uh, attract all the 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 rest of the initiatives that uh, will will get in the market out there and how flexible will you be into working cooperatively with other special economic zones we know that in Parlor Platinum wants to develop an SEZ close to the refinery out in Springs. We know that at OR Tambo there could be membranes for the fuel cell produced there. We know that at Dubai Trade Port there are activities for rural and telecommunication fuel cells and I'm sure there are others where there could be links with Platinum Valley. Will you be linking up as a big fragmented area? Who's going to champion this? Obviously, from from Rustenbeck's uh, position, we want to be the leader because that is where the the all the platinum mining is happening. So we want to collaborate with all the initiatives. Uh, given that the industry is at the foundation phase, all the initiatives are welcome, and uh, we w we would support and collaborate with everybody across the board with regard to this initiative. In fact, we are part and parcel of the IDC task team that is looking at uh, all the initiatives uh, for, 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 for platinum beneficiation uh, across the value chain. Because the IDC, they were looking at uh, 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 bring, uh, putting together packages that will go into funding different areas within the whole value chain so are part and parcel of that so i think it, it is very it is very advisable for the country to to collaborate at the moment with all the initiatives that are happening across the board whether it's at the university of cape town or northwest university or uh, within Gauteng itself so what is important is that we must have the same vision with regard to what we want to do about um, uh, uh, platinum. So the, 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 the bigger vision obviously is to, to, to export finished products that take into consideration our resources that we have so that we do not um, export the un, 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 unfinished, uh, what do you call, uh, the, 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 we do not uh, 
uh, export raw mi uh, minerals and, and beneficiate locally. So some of this um, initiative and the zone uh, will go a long way towards changing the the current environment whereby we export and uh, un, un, unbeneficiated minerals. Yes. And how are you going to get buy-in from the platinum mining industry? Um, the success of the zone will t depend heavily on the support and the the the, the buy-in that we will get from the mines. Uh, in that regard, we we will be hosting the mining in Daba uh, later in the year, so that we are able to share with the mining community what we have done and what we uh, what they can do to uh, add value to the work that we have done uh, because as government we are responsible to make the environment uh, suitable for for new investment so we'll go to the uh, the mining community and share with them what is it that we are planning to do with the zone so that they are able to uh, indicate to us what is it that they would uh, prefer with whether it's with regard to the policy environment, whether it's with regard to the incentives, or with regard to the type of infrastructure that we'll be looking for, for them to be able to participate in the program that we are doing. Yes. And talking about the environment, the protection of the environment, the protection of Mother Nature, yes. is something that Platinum Group Metals can do. Yes. Are you flying that flag? Yes, uh, we, we would want to um, look at all the opportunities and the benefits of uh, uh, new products and uh, that uh, this mineral will give us. So uh, biodiversity protection and introducing new uh, renewable energy and new way of doing things. Uh, we hope that this opportunity will come and then we'll be able to take advantage and then change the way we're doing things using this uh, initiative as a base for uh, going forward. Yes. Now we all listened to the new Minister of Trade and Industry yes. when he spoke in the State of the Nation debate yes. and he said, he in fact promised that in three months yes. the Platinum Valley would have a legal entity and I think one month has already yes. gone. Yes. So will you have the legal framework to bring people in yes. and benefit from the tax incentives and all the other incentives by September? We, we are all set. Uh, everything is uh, ready for, for, for the, to deliver on that commitment. In fact, uh, we, we are advised by the DTI that uh, uh, the, the, the application for this license will go through the the next cabinet uh, uh, meeting that is coming. So we're hoping that we'll be able to meet that uh, commitment by the minister by the end of uh, September. What we are currently busy with, uh, we are um, finalizing the process to establish the new SEZ company so that uh, it will then uh, take over from the work that was done by the project management unit so that it's, um, it will run with all the 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 feasibility studies that have been done the sector development strategies that have been done so that uh, will then have a, a legal entity that is running with this uh, 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 process and it's encouraging that uh, the mines have given us input to say uh, get it right this time uh, because initially we, we started with the mining supplier pack and then the initiative lost track somewhere. So this is the first time that we'll get something going to demonstrate government's commitment uh, to, 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 to meet its part uh, for, 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 for the, the investment community. Yes. That was Davis Siddique talking about the development of the Platinum Valley Special Economic Zone.